A beehive is a superorganism. There's one queen, there's about 95% worker female bees and about 5% male drone bees. And everybody has their job to do. And it's just a fine-tuned organism. One honeybee cannot live by themselves. The queen lays the eggs, but also the queen gives off a pheromone. And that is somehow coated on all of her bees. So if a bee from one of the other hives tries to get into that hive and they don't have that scent on them, there's guard bees that are standing right by the door and they, they chase them away. Uh, the honeybees are generalists, so they pretty much will forage on anything. They're looking for pollen and nectar. That's what they need for their own food and to feed the, the larvae that, they, that, the, the, that grow from the eggs that the queen lays. The best thing they can do is plant a variety of flowers, native if possible, that flower throughout the season. So things that flower really early in the season, like violets. Perfect. And then mid-season, things like uh, purple cone flower. Um, uh, something called culver's root has a flower that the bees really like. And then into the fall, um, goldenrods and asters. So, the, you know, the, the, the once fall hits, there's still food for the bees to store up before it gets too cold so they have food to, to, to survive the winter. Contrary to popular belief, the bees are not collecting honey for us. They're, co they're collecting the pollen and the nectar to make honey for themselves so they have food to, su to, to, to survive throughout the year, uh, particularly into the, into, the, into the winter when it gets cold and that they have to live on the stores because they can't collect any more uh, pollen and nectar throughout the winter months. And so this is an eight ounce jar of honey. In order for uh, the bees to make this much honey, they will have probably visited about a million flowers and flown 25,000 miles. The older bees are the, the scouts, uh, the scout bees. So they will fly out and find places where, where there's something flowering that, have, that has uh, pollen and, and nectar for them to feed. Um, and then they will come back and they'll do what's called the waggle dance. What's, what's that? So the, they will um, come into the hive and then they will sort of do this thing where they waggle their behind in different directions for different amounts of time and, and they will face a different direction. So that is giving the information to the other forager bees where there is oh. pollen and nectar to, to collect. <laughs> Natural disasters are one of the many things that are, are problems for, for bees. Too much rain, uh, a too long of a, of a winter frost. But really the, um, the, the thing that is causing so much loss of bees uh, are, are a couple of things. One is loss of habitat. So if there's not habitat, meaning flowers for them to feed on, they, they, they can't survive. So the more development, the more natural land that's built on, the, the less foraging area there is for bees. That's one thing. And then there's a lot of evidence now that pesticides are really causing um, what is preferred to as, referred to as colony collapse disorder. Um, and one particular uh, type of pesticide um, which is a systemic pesticide where the, the seeds are treated or the ground is treated. So everything picks up that, um, that pesticide. It's not just sprayed once and then it disappears, but it stays in the, pl the plant and, and, and can manifest itself in the flower. The bee will eat it and may not die immediately from it, but they will bring back minute quantities of that pesticide into the hive and then eventually that will weaken and 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 potentially destroy the hives <laughs>
support their local beekeepers. You know, if you find people selling um, local honey, um, buy that honey. Um, it may be a little bit more expensive than what you can buy in the grocery store, but it has uh, other properties to it that will be very, very helpful. Do not use pesticides if, if at all possible. Mm. Plant a variety of native ple uh, um, trees, shrubs, and perennials that flower throughout the year to provide forage for, for the bees. Bees can't live without the flowers. And the flowers can't produce their seeds, their fruit and their seeds, without bees.